This review is on the movie River Wild. I'm the anger guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. When first noticed in the 2023 film River Wild, of course I remembered the 1994 movie River Wild with Merle Streep, Kevin Bacon, and David Strathairn. To me, Kevin's character was more a methodically evil person. In this movie, the asshole was a narcissist, psychopath killer. Hey, let's have some fun to see if the 2023 movie River Wild is an indie film or not. See the backpack over there with indie film written on the front? I'll fade some boards down in with the words usually associated with indie films. And if all the boards are go into the pack, ta-da, the 2023 film River Wild is an independent movie. Okay, let's start with low budget. Shooting, shooting the raft with people going down the rapids had to be long and a tiring effort, especially just to get the right shot. I was surprised to find out the film takes place in the Idaho woods, just outside Boise. But the 2023 film, The River Wild, was actually filmed in Eastern Europe. Wow. Few cast members. For the subject of few cast members, that is a definite yes. Let's see. Look at the right. Okay. I looked at the right. We still have half the boards out. So, the 2023 movie River Wild is definitely not an independent film. I'm tired. I'm going to take a nap. Could you watch a raft out there for a few minutes? Thanks. The director for the 2023 film River Wild was Ben Katai, who is also a writer and producer and is known for the films Chosen, Beneath, and The Strangers, Pray at Night. In the 2023 movie River Wild, a rafting trip turns deadly when one of the five rafters is a psycho while the others, not knowing their lives, are in danger. Plus, they have to deal with the raging rapids and the possibility of being stranded on the land without ever getting back. Ooh. Joey is a stressed out doctor with a haunting history. During her younger years, she would help her brother, Gray, with his rafting business. She doesn't totally trust her brother because when she was a teenager, he didn't keep his jailbird friend, Trevor, off of her. Still, to this day, Gray will take Trevor's advice over hers. Gray is Joey's brother who's also had a dark past. He was a drunk and a drug user in his early days. Now he runs and owns a whitewater rafting business while being completely sober. He still has a weakness for his jailbird friend, Trevor. With Trevor's personality, he gives off weird vibes. To me, he's too energetic, too needy, and his temperament leans towards unbalance. Like they say, once a con, always a con. Carissa is a pretty woman with delicate features and characteristics, but her eyes tell me she has an inner strength from the past she has totally left behind, and now she's always in the present. To me, she looks like a good friend to have, because if she trusts you, she will be loyal to you. Screw her over three times, and then she'll never speak to you again. To me, Van is looking for a female relationship, and her eyes tells me she will kill anyone that will get between her and her lover. At times, she looks fun-loving, but has a quick temper. It's the iris inside her to maintain her independence until she finds the one that to complete her. Out of an alphabetic score, I give the 2023 film River Wild a uh, C+. Plus. Would I recommend watching this film? Only if you can't find anything else to keep you busy. Finally, my personal embarrassing story. Years ago, as a family, we went to Ohio Pile, whitewater 
Adventures rafting. At the start of the group, we were listening to the instructions on how to stay afloat, and there was a single mother and her daughter looking for a raft to join. Right before we asked her, she joined another group sitting beside her. Thank God. During our trip down the Yohogany, or the lower Yo River, we ran into three giant boulders and flipped each time. The instructors on their kayaks scooped up our oars each, each time. One time I rode the back of an employee's kayak to land where our raft was resting with my better half sitting inside. My better half fell out of the raft only once. My son, daughter, and myself fell out three times. During the trip down the river, my better half asked me, did I have the keys to the car? Being totally exhausted and hungry and wanting to go home to a safe, dry area, I said anxiously, yes, there inside my sock, why? She abruptly said, I think your keys are swishing back and forth on the bottom of the raft. Guess what? She was, they were there. She was right. All of us thought the other rafters didn't see us or didn't care when we fell in the water. But after getting off the bus from where we landed to where we started, we quickly found out all the other rafters knew that we fell into the river several times because all along the trip, employees were filming with VHS video cameras along the river, taking movies of everyone. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Of course, as we sat in the pavilion with the other rafters watching the video, the employees put together a quarter of the way through watching the video tape, everyone started to call us the swim chain. I will never, ever go white water rafting again. If you stayed through this long review and comments, thank you so much. Hopefully it brought you a smile at least, or maybe half a smile. Thank you again.